Hi, my name is Al Lusco. I'm an application engineer with Agilent Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about a brand new product that's well suited for satellite monitoring applications where the need is to monitor large blocks of spectrum and look for carriers coming off the satellite at different frequencies and monitor them for power and digital demodulation characteristics. So now let me introduce you to the test setup itself. First we have the microwave VSA, that's the M9393. We've got a VSG sitting next to it that will generate signals that will simulate the carriers coming off the satellite. And next to that we have the embedded controller, the M9037A, which is an I7 based controller. Okay, let's get into our measurements. In this lab, I will create a simulated satellite multi-carrier feed using Agilent Waveform Creator and our PXI VSG and measure that using the Agilent 89600 VSA software combined with the PXI VSA. First, let's create our multi-carrier signal. I'll go ahead and open the Agilent M9099 Waveform Creator. I do have a pre-setup file here which we can use to quickly create the carriers. Once Waveform Creator opens up, we can take a look at the Waveform layout and you'll see here that we actually have three tracks which represent the three different carriers. One is set to QPSK, second is set to 8PSK, and the third is set to 16QAM. I can go ahead and take those signals and set them up, offset the track frequencies as shown here. Track 1 will be playing at minus 50 megahertz from the center frequency, track 2 will be at minus 40 megahertz, and track 3 will be right at the center frequency. Waveform Creator also has a nice viewing tool which allows us to take a look and see what the spectrum will look like and you can see we do have our three carriers as shown here. Finally the third tab shows us we can set up the PXI VSG to output the center frequency at 5.3 gigahertz and a total amplitude of minus 20 dBm. Let's go ahead and select generate an output and we'll see here that the message at the bottom says that it's building the waveform. Once it builds the waveform it downloads it to the instrument. So now we should be having our three carriers coming out of the PXI VSG. We can go ahead and minimize that. Now let's open up the 89600 VSA software. The software will connect to the M9393 PXI VSA and allow us to make measurements. So I also have set up files that we can recall here which will make it a little bit simpler. Let's recall the multi-measurement setup and you'll see actually two different screens. The top screen shows a power spectrum view which if I start up the measurement you'll see the spectrum that we're generating with the VSG. Notice that the span is 1 gigahertz resolution bandwidth is 100 kilohertz. So it's a very nice fast update rate even though we're looking at a large block of spectrum. This is similar to the carriers coming off of a satellite that our customers want to monitor and measure power. The second measurement I have set up which is the lower one we'll call measure 2 is a digital demodulation of one of these carriers one at a time. So I'm going to set up to do the first carrier which is at 5.25 gigahertz, 5.25. And when I set the center frequency properly you can see that we're, we are now taking a closer look at this carrier on the far left of the three carriers at the top plot. And you can see that the EVM is a respectable 0.5 percent RMS. We can also set up the multi-measurement sequence mode which will allow us to sequence between the two different measurements. This is new for 89600. This is a power spectrum measurement at the top. This is a digital demodulation spectrum on the bottom. And we are going back and forth and capturing and measuring uh, each one individually. And you can see that the update rate is still very good across these two different measurements. Let's go ahead and stop this and we will recall a different setup which is a four band sequence with digital demodulation. And what we've got here is a sequenced multi-measurement using the microwave 
VSA. Here we're actually sequencing across four different bands. This one is centered at 5.3 gigahertz. This one's centered at 8 gigahertz. This one's centered at 18 gigahertz. And this band is centered at 22 gigahertz. The VSA is sequencing between four bands looking at a 1 gigahertz block of spectrum at each band. And on the far right, we're also doing a digital demodulation, in this case, the 16 qualm signal, as shown on the far right, and measuring its EVM. Customers will want to come in here and also do a power analysis. We can show the occupied bandwidth, and we can also show the power band by dragging the window across the carrier itself and measuring the power within that carrier. This is the kind of measurement that our customers satellite monitoring customers are interested in doing. They want to look at multiple bands of signals coming off multiple satellites and they want to do a power and modulation analysis of each of the carriers that they see coming off those satellites. In this demo I showed you a high-speed fast tuning microwave VSA that's well suited for multi-band scanning. For more information please visit our website. Thank you for watching.